closer to first pitch here in San Francisco. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. A look there at the home of the Giants. Beautiful AT&T Park in San Francisco. Tonight, game two of this three-game weekend series between the Philadelphia Phillies and the San Francisco Giants. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian getting set to bring you this one on the show. Alongside me are Eric Karros and Steve Lyons. And Steve, let's take a moment to look at our two starters here tonight. Yeah, and you've got a couple of guys here that aren't afraid to challenge you at the plate. They're not afraid to let you put the ball in play and let their fielders make the plays behind them. That should make for a pretty good matchup. Here we go. Each one here. And now he'll try to bunt his way on to start the game. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. And the pitch. Off-speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. E.K., let's take a look at our homestanding nine as they enter play here this evening. They came up a little short last time out, but they've still been one of the hotter teams around, winning eight of their last ten ball games. And in terms of the homestand, they've won two and lost two, so... Not much to say about that, except you hate to give away games at home. We'd like to see a little more consistent effort going forward. And a fastball. Mm, tough take there, but it's even back at two and two. Yeah, two straight fastballs in on the hands. They haven't produced a strikeout. So now two and two, you've got a few options here. Two, two. And a full count as that misses. It's three and two now. Yeah, and that's not the pitch you want to throw on two and two. That was so high, he didn't even have to think about swinging at it. Here's the three two pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. But this will land foul just shy of the wall. One more time. Oh, hit sharply as this is pulled into right. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. And that is just one heck of an at-bat right there leading off your half of the first inning. He works the count to three and two. He lets everybody on the bench see what this guy is featuring. And then he tops it all off by getting on base with a leadoff single. For a table setter, how much better can it get? Damian Trejo will stand in now following that seven pitch at bat to begin the ball game. If he was smart, he would have gotten a pretty good look at all seven of those pitches from that on deck circle. PV set. Now the pitch. And now he squares around and drops down a good one. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Well, playing a little small ball here to start this ball game. You get the leadoff guy on base, and you figure, hey, why not bunt him over to second and let our three, four, five guys have a shot to drive in that first run? You can't really fault the logic there. Mike Del Franco will stride in now. Two hits for him, including a home run in last night's contest. A look from Peavy, and now the pitch. He'll hold off on the slider to start the at-bat. It's ball one. Runner at second here with one man out. one -oh on the way. Fastball in there for a strike. 92 on the radar gun that time. Here's the 1-1 pitch. And this is hit sharply on the ground toward the hole. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. Batting fourth, third baseman, Adrian Beltre. 
Adrian Beltre will stand in now. And as you can see there, he comes in currently ranked seventh in RBIs in the National League. Now here's the first pitch. And here's a called strike to the 36-year-old veteran. It's nothing in one. It's so important with guys like this to get ahead with strike one. Put them behind in the count and on their back foot right away. He waits. Now the pitch. A pitch out. The throw. Gets in and he's safe. Close play, but he's in there. Sometimes in a situation like this, you wonder if the delayed steal might be on from third. And this time it wasn't, and the throw was not even close at second base. Here's the one and one now to Beltran. Now a swing and a fly ball. Maxwell has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. That just didn't get enough of that one to get that run home, so that's probably a wide decision to hold it there. Salvador Perez will stand in, and he's been tearing the cover off the ball the past few days, as you see his numbers from the last five ball games. First pitch coming. But fastball in there for a cold strike. Now the pitch. Throws him on the bender there, and he's in the hole 0-2. And you know, in this ballpark, you get guys second and third, you've got to take advantage, especially early on. These chances might not come all that often. As a look, now the pitch. Struck him out, so they work out of the jam as he strands two men in scoring position. Phillies leave a couple. Now it'll be the Giants' turn. No score. Starting lineup put together by Bruce Bochy for the host Giants looks like this. Getting his final warm-up tosses in. The starter who they'll be up against. As you see his totals there on the right side of your screen. Now we'll look at the way the Phillies will line up behind him. Angel Pagan, he'll get us started in the home first. Center fielder, Angel Pagan. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Eric, you take a look at our visiting club as they take the field tonight here in the bottom of the first. They've had it going the last ten games. They're seven and three over that stretch, including a win last time out. And they've got themselves a pretty good-sized lead in the division coming into play. Certainly not out of reach yet, but they've got to be pretty comfortable with where they're sitting at this point in the year. The 1-1 one, one home. And a swing as he pulls this one into right. Trejo is there to put it away for route number one. Well, that one looked like for all the world it was a sure single leading off the inning. It was certainly hit hard enough, but evidently it was hit a little too hard as it winds up getting flagged down, and that's just a tough break. Here's the shortstop, Brandon Crawford. And 
as he'll take a called strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. The average at 284 to begin play. Four home runs and 34 driven in. The pitch. Might have thought about it here, but he lays off the breaking ball inside. It's even at one. Now the one and one pitch. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats, out of play. It's one and two. One, two. And that misses two and two. And if you're a pitcher, that's not the kind of call you want to be seeing. Two batters into a ball game. Two two. And that one is swung on and lifted out to Revere in center field. And there's the second out of the inning. Uh, if you're a pitcher, you have to love pitching at this place. You've got a cool night here, making the air a little heavy. And this ball just has zero carry to it. Buster Posey will get his first cuts now, and he'll do so with the bases empty and two away here in the first. First offering on the way. And that misses inside 1-0. Oh. You got to figure that that man right there would be more than happy to see this guy at the plate taking his swings with two out and nobody on all night long. And so would the guy on the mound. Bases are empty here with two men out. Here's the pitch. And that's right there, and we're even at one. Ready now on one and one. That's on the corner to put him behind now. One and two. Very patient here to start the at-bat. Maybe even a little too patient because now he's down one and two. Yeah, and I don't think he's going to get anything better than that to hit. The one, two. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Yeah, that's a good spot to miss against a guy like this. He loves that pitch up in the zone. Most power hitters do, so that's not a bad idea to give him one above the letters. Swing, hard hit ball to second. There to get it is Utley. Throw on to the first baseman, Howard, and with that, the side is retired. Giants are down one, two, three. We've played an inning. No score. Chase Utley leads things off now in the top half of the second. Leading off for Philadelphia. Second baseman, Chase Utley. All right, Dave, come on. First pitch on the way. And that one's in on the hands to start the inning. It's ball one. One oh. And here's a fastball in for strike one. 91 miles an hour that time. Oh, a very hittable pitch, too. That's a middle-of-the-plate fastball, and he's not going to get away with too many of those tonight. Come on, Giants! Now the pitch. Quick. Oh. And he lays off this one Keep down on. and in for Let's ball break. two. Uh, this is a guy up there that's Let's not hitting a ton ball. right now, but he can still work the count. That alone can be beneficial to an offense. The 2-1 home. Now a swing and a ball chop foul right at home plate. Now the 2-2 pitch. And Utley out in front of it as this one's on the ground to his opposite number at second. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Dominic Brown will stand in for the first time here. First pitch coming. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. 
Yeah, this ball might have caught him in between hops. So he might have been unsure which way to turn his glove, over or under the ball. Instead, just goes right through him. Here's big Ryan Howard now, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. The batting average, clearly not where he wants it to be. Nine homers and 31 RBIs. The 1-0. Swung on and missed. One and one. Wow, you got to think he got away with one right there. If you're a pitcher and you're pitching to this guy, you cannot live in that location. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Oh, no. That fastball is too much for him there. 1-2. and two. Yeah, that pitch is still up a little bit, but at least this one was out on a corner. But I don't think I'd want to be making a living up there too much. Here's the 1-2. Swing and a ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. Here's another one, two. And Howard will wisely lay off that one as it's back to two and two now. Here's the two and two offering. Now a swing and he popped him up. And no ordinary pop up at that. This is way up there. Duvall is under it, two gone. Yeah, might have been looking for the hard stuff. Maybe a fastball middle in. Instead, they drop a curveball on him, and it really threw him off stride. In now, Ethan Martin. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. No score here as we play inning number two. One zero pitch now, and a strike to even the count. One and one. Here's the one one pitch. Fastball not close, and he runs it to two balls and a strike. And this is something we've seen a lot from him recently. He's worked his way into another good hitter's count. Yeah, it's not unrelated either. When you're going good at the plate usually means you're being selective and you're not getting yourself out. And when that happens, you'll find yourself in these kind of counts. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. And an underhanded throw is in time for out number three. One left for Philadelphia. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. His first shot here. A couple of hits in four trips last night. Now here's the pitch. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Just no chance to pull the trigger on that one. It just got on him too fast. Here it comes. Fastball called for strike two. And against a guy like this, you're usually only going to get one pitch to hit in that bat. Sometimes you might not even get that, so that's one he may want back. Now here it comes. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Yeah. We could hear that one from up here. Now give him a second, and you should be all right. Another 0 and 2 coming. In again, but too far in. It's 1 and 2. 
and that's the right spot for that slider. Really try hard to tie him up inside, and that's a good job to lay off, too. Now the pitch. The one two is a breaking ball that can't find the zone, and it's even at two. Here's the two and two home. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Yeah, that's a pretty good pitch right there on a two two to finally strike him out, but he got a good look at his pitches out there, so this is one of those at bats that you can draw from later on in the ballgame. Justin Maxwell will stand in now, still struggling to get anything going offensively. Now here's the first pitch. Late swing, but he's still able to get a lot of this one out toward deep right field. And that'll ricochet off that brick wall in right. Well, you know, you don't get a lot of home runs out there in right field, and you also don't really get a ton of doubles either. This was a nice job of playing that carom, and that's not an easy thing to do out there with the bricks and the angles, the chain link fence out there. They hold him to just a long single. That's a great play. Stepping in now, Adam Duvall. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. The average right at the 200 mark on the year. One home run and three driven in. The 1 0. Another fastball. This one he gets by him. It's one and one. The boys, that's 99 right through him. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And here's one a pitch ball. swung on and missed. One and two now. Very difficult to get on top of a pitch when it's coming in that high. Darn near impossible when it's coming at you in the high 90s. You just can't get your hands up there fast enough to stay on top. Here comes a 1-2. And did he hold up in time? A look down, and no, he went around. It's strike three. And you see it there on your screen, strikeout number 100 for him on the year, and that ain't bad. Joaquin Aria will get his first cuts here with two gone now and a runner at first. And here's the first pitch. First offering to him stays upstairs. It's a ball and no strikes. One zero on the way. Lays off again, and it's two and zero. Pause. Now the pitch. Three and zero now. Figure he's taken now on the three ball count. Maybe even taken two. Bottom of the second here with no score. The three and nothing pitch taking all the way, and that's what you call a plausible strike there. It's three and one now. And at the plate, he might have been told, look, you're taken until you get a strike. Not a bad idea. The three and one pitch. 3-1 is a fastball, and he can't connect 3-2. And, and now, 3-2, two, two out. He'll be helped by the fact that that runner will get a head start out there. Here's the full count offering. And a good at-bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. Wow, just a great at-bat right there. Simple as that. Patient, laid off some tough pitches. He was rewarded. Gary Brown will get a shot now with two on and two out here in inning number two. Now 
the first pitch. Oh, and that one slung through the strike zone that time at 98-0-1. Well, this is the kind of situation where they came up short last night. They had opportunities, but they could never really cash them in. So you can bet they'd love to get something going on the board early here. From the stretch. Checks his swing, but this will be strike two call. Two men are on with two men out. From the belt, kicks and deals. In under the hands with a fastball, it's one and two. I'll give him this. He's not intimidated up there. That was inside. Close to triple digits. He didn't even flinch. One, two. Fastball strike three called on the outside corner, and he can't believe it. I don't blame him, but the inning is over. Giants leave a couple. We'll move to the third with no score. Ben Revere is ready to go here as we begin the third. Center fielder, number two, Ben Revere. Third baseman in tight, protecting the bunt, the first pitch. Now a fastball to start the third. That misses. It's ball one. The 1-0 home. There's a cut fastball that time that runs in a bit too tight, and it's 2-0 now. Two really close pitches to kick off this at bat. Normally, this guy would be all over him. But he's shown some discipline here with two good takes. Now the 2-0. Mm, pretty good cut there, but it's the 2-1 and one now. Now the 2-1 pitch. Oh, hits sharply as this is pulled into right. He dives. Did he catch that? He did. What a play there for the first out. Uh, and that's just some bad luck right there. With the outfield at their normal depth, this ball might have gotten down. But with them playing in, well, it's a completely different story. Damian Trejo will dig in. No official at bat yet as he delivered a sacrifice bunt in his first appearance. Oh, and good late movement there from PV on the fastball. It's 0-1. Now here's the pitch. Grounded, fouled off to the right side. And now a pitch on the way. Down and away, it's a ball and two strikes. Pretty clear the plan is to keep everything away. And that's smart for most guys, but got to know your scouting report because this is a guy that can cover the outside part of the plate. The one and two with one away. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground towards short. On to first and PB sets down the first two easily here. Michael Franco will dig in. He singled his first time around. First pitch to him. And there's the good fastball from Peavy as Jake gets a hit here 0-1. The pitch in there and it's 0-2 now and you kind of get the sense that he's not really messing around out there too much there hasn't been a whole lot of setting guys up here in this inning he's just trying to get himself back into that dugout as fast as he can 
lifted down the line in right and back out of play. Count holds it 0-2. The next 0-2. And now the bat explodes as this has popped up. And he'll avoid the fragments out there to make the catch that ends the inning. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Jake Peavy makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. Catcher, Jake Peavy. Now the first pitch. Swung on and missed for the first strike. And I think he'll keep riding that pitch until these guys prove they can do something with it. And the pitch. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. That's one of those fastballs that just never feels like it's going to be a strike. It's up at the letters, and that's a tough one to do anything with. Here it comes. Swing and a miss as he starts the third, the same way he ended the second with a punch out, one away. So four of the first seven outs thus far tonight have come via the punch out. And as you see there, he currently tops the Phillies in that department. Angel Pagan will stand in, a line out victim his first time. Here's the first offering. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. Here's the 1-0. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Boy, I don't know that I'd want to be facing this guy right now. He looks pretty fired up out there. Yeah, he, he looks like he could run that fastball through a brick wall. Now the 2-0. Here we go. 3 and 0 now. And that questionable call on the previous pitch, it really changes the at bat because he doesn't want to just lay one in there on 2-0. Now it's 3 and 0 and the tide is not working in his favor. And no doubt about this one, it's in there 3 and 1. The 3-1 coming. And this misses for ball 4. The second walk he surrendered here in the first 3 innings. Now in a scoreless game, he's got a hunch he may get a green light here. He may want to try and get something started that one. So a runner on first with one out now. And stepping in, the slick fielding shortstop, Brandon Crawford. Here's the first offering. In there, 0 and 1. Runners on first with one down. He's set, now the pitch. Now about a 58-foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. Here's the 1-1. That nibbled the corner there, but missed 2-1. Here's the 2-1 pitch. Now here's a ball hit sharply toward the right side. In there, the base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. And these guys know that if you're going to get to a pitch like this, you got to get to him early. But once he settles in, he can be really tough. But they've got two on against him now and only one out. Buster Posey will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Here's the first pitch to him. 
in there at the knees, strike one. Pretty cool right there. You know, it's so important in a tough spot to get that first pitch strike over, and he's able to jump ahead. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. He's ready now, the pitch. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. But that'll get foul, it's 0-2 now. From the belt, the pitch. Now this is swung on and dribbled up the first baseline. But a foul ball and the count holds it 0-2. Ready with another 0-2. And a good two-strike swing here as he's been fighting off some tough pitches, but the count will remain at 0-2. Here comes another 0-2. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. Well, he might have just said, look, you're going to have to take this one because you ain't fouling that one off. Big pitch here, one and two. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Well, you talk about a big time to come up with a strikeout. Now, you still got one more guy to get through here in the inning, but now with two outs, you can take a step back, take a deep breath, and know that those runners have to stay put at first and second. Brandon Belt will stand in with two on and two out here in the third. pitch coming swinging a ball hit on the ground uh, this gets foul it's 0 and 1 come set now the pitch there's a fastball pretty close that time but ruled the ball one and one 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 on the way over towards the dugout but this one will get into the stands the right hander deals on one and two and this is fouled back and out of play another one two delivery and a bouncing ball foul. Two down, runners at first and second. Again, a one-two. Swing, and I believe this one is going to find the seats as well. It does, so quite a battle here as it remains one and two. He'll try again, one-two. On the ground towards second. Throw on to first, and the Giants will be turned away here as that ends the inning. A golden opportunity to get on the board. Here goes for naught. More from the show. Saturday baseball following this message and a word from our local station. Adrian Beltre will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. Adrian Beltre. First pitch coming. First pitch of the inning is taken downstairs for a ball. It's 1-0. Not much to shout about for either team here as we start the fourth inning. Nothing, nothing. Yeah, I think we kind of knew that pitching might take the upper hand here. Maybe not to this extent, but both guys have really thrown the ball well. Out of play off to the right. It's 1-1. One one. The 1-1. One one. And this is going to be a foul ball. Here comes the one, two. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Now another one, two. This is hit sharply to the left side. 
And a base hit, so early trouble to lead off the inning. Well, even when you keep him in the ballpark, he can be trouble. And here he's right on this pitch, and he smokes it in the left field for a solid single. Salvador Perez will dig in here. Took a called third strike his first time. Now here's the first pitch. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. And you know, if you're going to challenge a guy up in the zone with a fastball, why not do it on the first pitch? A lot of times he's going to be taken anyway, and you just bought yourself a strike that you can now throw anything off of. Come set, now the pitch. Now a ball slapped hard the opposite way. And that'll get down for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Can't ask for a whole lot more to start the inning. Hey, back-to-back -back base hits have him threatened to score our first run of the night. Chase Utley will stand in. He grounded out his first time. First offering on the way. Oh. High and away on the first pitch fastball there. It's ball one. Now with two on and nobody out, it's looking like this scoreless string could be in some jeopardy. No runs, four hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Here's a 1-0. Now here's a fastball up that he sends in the air out to fairly deep center field. Pagan has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first out. The relay, and he's safe. So with the fly out there coming on the fastball, seems like an appropriate time to check out our pitch speed comparison for these two starters. And boy, which of those two numbers leap out at you there? How about the 100? My goodness. Dominic Brown will dig in. He reached on an error his first time. Runners lead from first and third. Here's the pitch. Cut fastball taken for strike one. Now at the plate, you're looking for something up in the zone. Try and keep it in the air. Make sure you don't hit into a double play. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Pause. Now the pitch. Swung on and taken the opposite way out toward deep left center. Catch is made deep in the alley, and here comes the runner from third. And a relay to the plate, and he will score on the sacrifice fly as he's in with our first tally of the ball game. In a game like this, you had to figure that a manufactured run was going to be how we finally opened our scoring. A good work there to drive him in. Ryan Howard will dig in. He popped out his first time. First pitch coming. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. A runner on first with two away. Yeah. Now Howard waits on the 1-0. Good tailing action there. It's one and one. One one. Swing and a ball bounced back up the middle. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. And now he has some trouble with it in center. Boy, you talk about a ball having eyes. First off, he's fortunate to get this one by the pitcher. It's not hit especially hard, but you'll see it get past second base where neither middle infielder can track it down. And it'll make its way into center field. Into the box now, Ethan Martin. 
I tried to hold back on that pitch outside, but went around for strike one. A look from Peavy, and now the pitch. He takes the change up the other way out toward right center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Phillies will have to be content with just the one. To the bottom of inning number four we go. Philadelphia is on top, one to nothing. Justin Maxwell will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Right fielder, Justin Maxwell. First pitch on the way. And a called strike down in the zone, nothing in one. Well, that's just unfair right there. I mean, most guys throw a 91-mile-an-hour fastball. He's throwing a 91-mile-an-hour slider. Now the pitch. A late swing here as this is hit hard to the right side. And this one gets past Howard down the line. It's a fair ball. Well, this is just excellent plate coverage here. I mean, this is a guy that uses the entire field. And you'll see him just reach that bat out there and slap it down the first baseline for a base hit. Into the box, Adam Duvall, as he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. Here comes the 1 0. Downstairs, two balls and no strikes. And after the strikeout his first time around, I think he was able to use that first at bat as a learning experience. Those have both been real good takes. A runner at first with no outs here. The 2 0. In the dirt, it's 3 0 now. Boy, a leadoff single, now a 3 0 count. Not exactly the way you want to start things out on the mound. Here it comes, 3-0. That one's in there, 3-1. Yeah, a much better pitch there than the one he threw on 2-0. and All right, let's go. Nobody out, runner on first. Now the 3-1. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. But this is back into the seats of foul ball. All right, let's go. Base hit here. He waits. Now the pitch. And they tie him up in proverbial knots there as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Yeah, not a real good job of pitch recognition there. I mean, this ball was going to be in on his hands to begin with. I don't know quite what he saw that made him want to swing at that thing, but it just completely locked him up there. Standing in now, Joaquin Arias. As he'll take a look at the pitch too low, it's ball one. The 1-0 pitch. Pitch to the plate is a slider for a strike, and it's all knotted up at 1-1. One one. one of the things that makes him so tough to hit, the ability to put his pitches right on the black. Yeah, I mean, you watch the catcher's glove on some of these, and it literally does not move. That's how good his stuff is. 1-1 one, one pitch on the way. The slider up into the 90s there. It's 1-2. and two. Now you can't look for a specific pitch. You just got to protect the plate. One, two, and look out. He has to back away there and then give a little glare out to the mound. It's ball two. Mm. He did not like that one bit. You know, it's one thing to work in with the hard stuff, but don't do it around the dome. Here comes a two-two. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. 
Well, right now he is just carving them up, dare I say, like a Thanksgiving turkey. That's seven strikeouts already, and he's made it look easy so far. Gary Brown will get another shot. Called out on strikes his first time around. And here's the first pitch. And a check swing. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. It's ball one. The next pitch. Who pulled the string and had him way out in front, a ball and a strike. Boy, that change-ups had him eaten out of his hand. Oh, and they've been falling all over themselves trying to get it. But you've just got to know that that's not going to be a strike. It looks like it is, but it isn't. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. And there you go. You've got the pitcher on deck. And this is where you need to be working the count a little bit. But instead, he's chased two pitches out of the strike zone. The one-two. Hit hard on the ground is short. He'll send it the short way to Utley at second, and that's that. One left for San Francisco. It remains one nothing. Leading off for the Phillies, Ben Revere will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. Now here's the first pitch. Here's a swing and a ground ball, but a foul ball here. 0 and 1. Now the pitch. Chopper foul. Now here's the pitch. And a good curveball there, but he wouldn't bite. It's one and two. And this is going back to the pattern he's been using here lately. Set him up inside and then get him out with pitches away. Here's the one, two. Pitch in the dirt, swung on and missed for strike three as they'll need to throw to first here. And the throw will indeed take care of him for the first out. Boy, that curveball is really moving now. He gets him to swing right over the top of it, and then you're going to see the nice work behind the plate to do a little cleanup back there and then get the put out down at first. Stepping in now, Damian Trejo. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. PB up to 66 pitches now in this night of work. Now the 1-0. Just missing here, 2-0. This is a guy whose numbers are on the rise, and this is a big reason why. Two close pitches, two good takes, and now he's in a great hitter's count, 2-0. The 2-0 on the way. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and O. Oh. And he's got a little bit of work to do now to avoid that first walk. Here it comes, the 3 0. Oh. And that misses as well. Ball four, so it's a four pitch walk here. And for as hot as this guy's been recently, this is a no brainer. Take the bat out of his hands any chance you get. Michael Franco will stand in. He singled and popped out in his first two at-bats. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Now the first pitch. And a high strike there, 0-1. And I don't think I'd be in any big hurry to challenge this guy again. I'd see if I could make him go out of the zone, maybe chase a bad pitch. PV set. Now the pitch. Hit hard down the line toward the coaching box. It's a foul ball. He 
set. Now the pitch. Can't quite get the low outside corner there. It's one and two. A classic strikeout pitch there on 0 and 2. It's one he loves going to, but great recognition there at the plate to lay off. Jake Reddy, here's the one, two. And this pitch is lined into right field, and he's going to reach with his second hit of the night. The relay throw, and he is in there. Just amazing what this guy's done with the bat this year. I mean, even when he's in a two strike hole, he still finds a way to come through. Adrian Beltre will come forward now. He has flied out and singled so far. First pitch to him. Pitch out. Nothing doing. Here's the 1-0. Gets under this one as this is hit high and pretty deep out there to center field. Begun to make the catch. Tagging is the runner from third. And it's a sack fly and an RBI. It's now a 2-0 game. Well, they were looking for at least a sack fly here. And fortunately for them, they had the right man for the job at the plate. So nice work to come through and drive home an important run. Salvador Perez will stand in. A strikeout victim his first time and then a base hit last time around. Now the first pitch. Trying to jam him with the first pitch slider, but it's in a bit too tight for ball one. And you figure now this would be a spot where that man might try to take second base. And it wouldn't be a bad idea to hold the ball a little longer out there on the mound. Really vary your times to the plate. You can't be predictable out there or he'll take advantage. Now the 1-0 pitch. And this will be swung on and bounced on the ground to second. Knee high, he barehands it. Throw to first in plenty of time, and his side is retired. So one run on one hit, no errors, and a runner left. Home half of the fifth coming up. Phillies lead this one two to nothing. Jake Peavy will stand in to start things out here in the home half of the fifth. And you get the sense, Steve, that this crowd's been pretty well taken out of the ball game to this point. Yeah, they pretty much had to sit on their hands all afternoon. Not a lot to get excited about so far. And I think that's a credit to that man out there on the mound. He's cut right through this lineup for the first four innings. Here's the first offering. Here we go. Oh. In need of a quick inning here, but he starts this one with a ball. It's 1-0. and oh. Let's go. 1-0 on the way in there one and one well you get the sense that what they need is one big hit from anybody in the lineup if they could get one it could get them right back in this game because right now they just seem out of it okay, here's the one one pitch and this is fouled back and out of play here comes a one two and he struck him out, and that's eight strikeouts thus far. Yeah, he's able to set down his opposite number there, and I'll tell you, these two guys have pretty much matched each other pitch for pitch so far. Angel Pagan will stand in, base on balls his last time. Here's the first offering. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Now, pitch on the way. Here we go. Still taking here as he looks at the slider this time, and he's in a big hole now, down 0-2. High strikes, probably not on the docket for places he wants to be. Yeah, I mean, it's no secret. You've got to keep the ball down against a team like this. If you go up every once in a while with a fastball, 
you'll be fine, but you're not going to last too long if you make a habit of working up there with your secondary pitches. And this will be taken in by Brown as he's got it for the second out. The shortstop, so bases are empty here with two gone. And stepping in, the slick fielding shortstop, Brandon Crawford. Here's the first pitch to him. And this ball's going to find the seats down the left field line. Foul strike one. The pitch. Hit sharply to the left side, and it's going to find the hole for a two-out knock. Well, he'd had some high-stress innings here so far. It was looking like he turned a corner and was on his way to a much-needed one, two, three. But he's going to have to get in the stretch here after all. Buster Posey will try it again. He's grounded out and struck out in two trips. First pitch coming. And now here's a swing and a ground ball to third. He'll send it the short way to Utley at second, and that's that. Giants leave one. They trail things here two to nothing. Back alongside Eric Carros and Steve Lyons, Matt Vaskersian, and Chase Utley getting set to start things out here in the Phillies half of the inning. Now here's the first pitch. And he makes good contact there, but this is going to find the stands foul down the right field line. Here's the pitch. Now a cutter, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Not too many strikeouts on the ledger for him so far, but it hasn't really mattered. Yeah, I think ideally you'd like to see him miss a few more bats, but... As long as you're keeping guys off balance and you're letting your defense help you, you don't need to strike a ton of guys out to be successful. And that will hook just inside the right field foul pole. It's a home run. Solo shot that time from Chase Utley. 12 home runs for him now thus far. And the Phillies open up a 3 to nothing lead. And sometimes as a pitcher out there, you have to challenge guys up in the strike zone. The only thing is, it just can't be out over the middle of the plate. Here he got the fastball up all right, but he didn't get it in. So he extends his arms out there and he hits this ball a long, long way. Now here comes Bruce Bochy out of the Giants' dugout on his way to the mound. And we're going to have a pitching change here as that'll be all tonight for Jake Peavy. He'll wind up lasting just five innings here. Didn't pitch all that poorly, yet he's gone nonetheless. Sergio Romo will take over on the mound now here in the sixth inning. Number 54, Sergio Romo. And now the left-hander Jeremy Affelt is up and throwing in the Giants' bullpen. Here's the left-handed hitting Dominic Brown as he takes a cold strike on the black. It's 0-1. Three runs, seven hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Pitch on the way. Down and away, ball one. One one home. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. The right.
right-hander deals on one and two. And this is strike three called, says Clyde Washington. Might have looked a bit low, but that's out number one. You know, and I think most hitters will tell you, if you get a bad call on strike one or strike two, you know, they can live with that. But if you're going to punch me out on strike three, it better be a strike. If not, I feel like you're taking the bat out of my hands. Here's big Ryan Howard now. Now a check swing, but it's strike one anyway, says the home plate umpire. Here it comes. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Now the one and one pitch. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Well, that's a pretty good spot to try and lock him up inside, but you know, he can turn on that location if that's out over the plate. The two one now to Howard. Two and two now. And on the mound here, you got to make sure you pitch to the shift. You don't want to make it easier for a guy to go the other way on you. The 2-2 two -two coming. Now he lifts a high pop-up. Drifting into foul territory on the right side. Belt able to pull this one in for route number two. Oh, man, would he like to have that swing back. I mean, he just missed hammering this ball, but just got underneath it a little bit. He's not going to be happy about that one because even he thought he was right on it. Ethan Martin will bat for himself here with his guys up three here in inning number six. First pitch coming. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. Now the pitch. Off the plate. One ball, one strike. What? Ready now on one and one. And this is taken for a called strike. Oh, that's a tough call. Now one and two. When he's got that slider working the way he wants it, it can be such a weapon for him. Now the one, two. And this will be fouled away. Two out, nobody on. Here he comes again, 1-2. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at 2-2. Two and two. Yeah, sort of a pesky at-bat up there. You know he'd just love to fire one more fastball by this guy and be done with this inning. Here now the 2-2. Two, two. And a swing and a miss is all he could do is reach out in vain for that one as the side is retired. One for the Phils, and it comes courtesy of this home run by Chase Utley. Bottom of the sixth is straight ahead. It's now 3-0 Philadelphia. Brandon Belt will stride into the box as he'll get things started for the Giants in their half of the sixth. First pitch coming. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. He continues to get ahead here. He's been in complete control. I think you need to guard yourself from being overconfident, though. A bloop and a blast could still turn this game on its ear. Now some action in the Phillies' bullpen as a right-hander begins to crank it up out there. And, boy, they're really giving him fits inside now as he can't get extended there, and it's 0-2 now. 
and this is part of why he's had a lot of success so far. He's done a lot of work on the edges and stayed out of the middle of the strike zone. Now here it comes. Here we go. Ball hit out toward Utley at second. And reined in one away. Justin Maxwell will dig in. He singled his last time around. First offering on the way. Fastball in there for a called strike. For that man right there, you need look back only to his last start to see a performance like the one he's shown here so far. And well on his way to another great outing. And that's what you get when you mix your speeds and throw a lot of strikes. That's on the inside corner to put him behind here. Nothing in tune. Yeah, and it seems like he kind of got away from that pitch here in the last few innings. You got to think about bringing that one right back. Now the pitch. Here we go. 0-2 pitch is swung on and lifted in the air to right field. Trejo is there. Two down. And I'll tell you what. A 3-0 lead with the way this guy's throwing must look like a 10 nothing lead to these guys. I mean, they just haven't been able to solve him at all so far. Adam Duvall will dig in now. Hitless in his two at-bats so far. First pitch on the way. Now this is swung on, and here's another fly ball out to right field. Trejo is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Giants down in order. They trail in this one 3-0. Back here in San Francisco. It's on to the seventh inning now with the Phillies out in front. And it's a good time to check out our game summary through the first six innings so far. Ben Revere will stand in here to start the seventh in a game that's been sailing along to this point. Now here's the first pitch. And he'll start the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball one. This man out for a second inning of work, and why not? He set him down one, two, three the last time around. All right, and with two strikeouts mixed in there as well. Just let him keep going. One zero. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. In the dirt, and oh, he can't quite dig it out. Yeah, that's a tough throw for a first baseman to try and handle. You get a look here at first. You see him stick that right leg out there trying to backhand this thing, but winds up popping right in and out of the pocket. Into the box now, Damian Trejo as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. Maybe a spot to pitch out on 0-1? Well, I think he wants to go, no doubt. Might not be too bad an idea. From the belt, kicks and deals. And now a slider in on the hands, and he's lucky that one didn't come and get him. Oh, and even though that's not intentional, as a hitter, you still hate to see that ball up around your eyes. Here comes the 1-1. And this is going to be a foul ball. Here comes the 1-2. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first down. Yeah, and this is something that's always a cause for concern when a young player first gets to the big leagues. Veteran pitchers have a way of turning your aggressiveness against you. And they got him to chase a bad one right there. In now, Michael Franco. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one.
Runner at first here, one man out. One-zero pitch now. There's a fastball for a strike, and that evens the count at one and one. Seemed to quicken his delivery to the plate on that last pitch. Well, you got to remember the slide step does two things for you. It gets the catcher the ball quicker so he can throw a guy out, or it will hold the runner on first so he doesn't steal at all. Here's the one-one pitch. Outside two and one. Now the 2-1. And he'll offer it the 2-1 and send it in the air out to right. Maxwell is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Adrian Beltre will step in. One for two in the ballgame. The first pitch. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Two out with the man at first. Come on now. The 1 0. Revere rides off for second. Pitch inside the throw, and it's far too late as he steals second with ease. And with two outs, this was an excellent spot to try to take second base. The worst case scenario is if you get thrown out, you allow a good hitter to come back and lead off the next inning. Now, you give that same good hitter an opportunity to drive you in with just a base hit. Here comes the 2-0. Now a check swing and a pop-up out toward the mound. Romo will put this one away, and his side is retired. Philly strand one, but they lead it 3-0. Joaquin Arias will step in now to lead off the home half of the seventh. Second baseman, Joaquin Arias. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. And here's the first pitch. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Yet again, another first pitch strike. And it's a big reason of why he's having the success he is. You establish the count in your favor right away, and it just opens up the door to so many more options going forward. The pitch. And this is bounced foul at the plate, and that moves the count to 0-2 now. And the pitch. And they'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's 1-2. and two. Yeah, with the bases empty, that's the right spot for that 0-2 pitch. Make him see if he'll chase that slider. 1-2. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. Another 1-2 delivery. To two balls and two strikes now. Yeah, it's a good battle to start this inning. That's what you like to see when you've got a guy out there that's getting up there in the pitch count. Here he comes on two and two. And he's getting his money's worth up there now. It's full three and two. Well, pitch count will become a factor here in the seventh. He's about to hit 100 for the game. Now the three and two pitch. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at-bat is also fouled away. So the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. And it has misses ball four. It's the leadoff walk to start the home seven. And there you get a look at his pitch count. You can see he's over the 100 pitch mark right now. So some of those mistakes are going to start to get magnified late in this ball game. You can bet they're keeping close tabs on him in that dugout. Gary Brown will stand in 0 for 2 thus far. 
now some movement out in the Phillies bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen. First pitch to him. And this is taken outside for ball one. All right, leadoff man on first. Here's where you got to start clawing your way back into this ball game. It's not too late, but it needs to start happening soon. one -oh on the way. Comes back with a bullet of a fastball. That's in there, one and one. Yeah, and that fastball still got some life to it, even over 100 pitches. All right, Gary! Here's the one one. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Sometimes you just let a guy work his own way into trouble and then take advantage. Here he comes on two and one. And that pitch comes over to catch the corner. It's two and two now. And that has been the comfort zone so far in this outing. He's just lived on that outside corner, and it's paid big dividends for him. Sets the 2-2 two -two pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. A runner at first with no outs here. The 2-2 two -two one more time. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. And a good job here of making him throw a lot of pitches. I mean, he probably doesn't have a whole lot left in the tank, so the more you make him work, the better your chances of getting a mistake. Payoff pitch coming. And he punches out another one. Make it nine for the ball game. Now he continues to pitch well out there. Here's his pitch breakdown so far. Juan Rodriguez will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number 10, Juan Rodriguez. Down and away, one ball and no strikes. I know we have a tendency in the media to get hung up on pitch counts, but this is a legitimate workload he's sweated through so far. Yeah, anytime you get up around that 110 mark, you put in a full shift, and he's fast approaching it here. The 1-0. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder, and this will get by him at third down the line. It's a fair ball. Maybe a chance here to put a dent into that scoreboard after all. This gives them a couple guys on base now here in the late going. And at the very least, another hit here could be enough for them to avoid the shutout. Angel Pagan will dig in now, and he'll do so representing the tying run. Yeah, and you're not too worried about this guy jumping the yard on you here and tying the ball game. But if he does find a way to get on base, things get a whole lot more interesting. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Now the first pitch. And he takes a pitch that's ruled a strike at the knees. Pretty liberal strike zone there. It's 0-1. A look here at the hits per side here in the late going. He's ready now, the pitch, and the slider is low and inside as he just about got him there. It doesn't take a trained eye to tell you. He's starting to wear down a bit out there on the mound. Here's the 1-1. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for the ball. Yeah, a good job here of working himself back into a hitter's count especially with two men on base in front of him. What was that? A 2-1 offering to 2-2 two and two now. Two and two. Oh, and you know what? That might be the best curveball we've seen all night out of him, and he picked a good time to throw it.
2-2 pitch on the way. Swing and a liner, but foul. The 2-2. Now a ball hit back up the middle to second for one. On to first, it's a double play. As their woes continue, the inning is over. One left for San Francisco. They trail it here three to nothing. Your attention, please. New pitcher set to take over on the mound, and it's the veteran left-hander Jeremy Affell. Salvador Perez will lead it off here for Philadelphia to be followed on deck by Chase Utley. The catcher, number 13. Salvador. Too high that time with the inning's first pitch. It's ball one. Now some action out in the Giants' bullpen as they'll have both a left-hander and a right-hander get loose. The 1-0 home. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Perez waiting on the 1-1. Swing and a ball line hard towards short. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Time to take a look at our starter comparison to this point, and the telling numbers can be found on the left side of your screen. Zeros in the run and earned run column. Chase Utley will stand in yet again as we flash you back to the middle inning. This was a turning point here, a solo home run that was really one of the key at-bats of the ballgame to this point. Here's the first offering. And a fastball just misses for ball one. A lot of late movement on that fastball. That nearly came back to the outer edge. Here's the 1-0. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But a foul ball, one and one. Now the 1-1. One, one. Fouled back. Here's the pitch. And a swing as he pulls this one into right. And that gets down and ought to be good for extra bases. Utley now will hit for second. And he'll cruise into the bag at second with a one-out double. And if you're going to work away with a two-seam fastball, which I don't think is the best pitch anyway, you better start that thing out of the zone and let it work its way back to the corner. Here, as you can see, he starts it on the corner. So you know what's going to happen. It's going to leak right back out over the heart of the plate. And that's a mistaken location, pure and simple. Here's the left-handed hitting Dominic Brown. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Tough spot here for a left-handed hitter facing a guy that's exceptionally tough on lefties. Yeah, you generally get so many at-bats against right-handed pitching. Now you're in a good RBI spot, and you're stuck facing a guy like this. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. One one on the way. Down low, two balls and a strike. And that curveball just doesn't look to have the same snap it normally does. But both of those last two have been pretty flat. Here it comes, two and one. And this is going to be a foul ball. Two, two. 
And this misses, so that'll fill the count at three and two. Well, that one definitely took off on him right there. He's lucky that thing didn't go all the way to the backstop. One out and a runner on second base. Crowd gets up for the 3-2. Back up the middle, and that'll get through. It's in the center of base hit. The throw to the plate. And the run will come across to score from second, and they open it up to a 4 nothing now. And that may be the at-bat there that finally seals the deal. That'll make it a four-run lead right now, and that will be awfully tough to overcome this late in the ball game. Now pitching for the Giants. So a call to the bullpen now, and they'll make a move for the left-hander here. Ryan Howard will stand in with a run in, one out and one on here in the inning. Here's the first pitch to him. Ball hit high and foul down the left field line. It's strike one. Runners on first with one down. He's ready. Now the pitch. Fouled straight back. Has a look. Now the pitch. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Another 0-2 home. Takes something off, but it's 1-2 and two now. Got to be careful here with a run in already. You don't want to let one get away from you and lose the possibility of a double play. Runner at first here, one man out. Come set, now the pitch. Now a chopper to first, might only get one. To Crawford for one. The relay, not in time as he beats the throw by a step. Oh, there is so much that can go wrong with this play right here. This will give us a great angle to look at it. Look where he fields this thing. Then as he goes to throw it, stop it right there. He's got no real direct lane to the bag. Now we've seen guys screw this up all the time. They throw it off the runner's back, they hit someone's helmet, Anything can go wrong, but he's able to avoid that danger here as he gets that force at second base. Xavier Paul will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 28, Xavier Paul. swing here in a little looper. Arias is there and the side is retired. A run on two hits and they leave one. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. It's the Phillies four and the Giants nothing. Ken Giles is on out of the bullpen now as he'll take over to start the bottom of the eighth. Ken Giles. Brandon Crawford started out here for San Francisco with Buster Posey to follow on deck. Now a left-hander up and throwing in that Philly bullpen. Low for ball one. comes the 1-0. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Here's a guy that understands. It's all about getting on base at this point, so good idea there just to wait for strike one. Brandon. The 1-1. Foul Grounded foul toward the third base dugout. The 
the one two and he takes strike three called on the fastball one gone these giant fans are going to be crying in their garlic pies after this one i mean this has been a total team breakdown so far that offense it's been non-existent Buster Posey will stand in now. He's been kept quiet out of the number three hole, hitless in his three at bat so far. First pitch coming. Slider, but that's low as it's dug out by the catcher there. Well, you know, if there's anybody in this lineup capable of getting a rally started, this is the guy right here. The 1-0 pitch. Fastball, and that thing's a blur up there, folks. One and one. MVP! MVP! The so 1-1. One, one. This ball's grounded foul. One out, nobody on. One and two with one away. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. I'd say he's made a pretty good impression since coming on. Two batters, two strikeouts to start the inning. Brandon Belt will stand in now with two away, needing to really get something started here. And their chances of getting back into this ball game are growing dimmer by the batter. Here's the first offering. And a slider runs in on him as he has to lean out of the way. You don't want guys to get too comfortable up there, so that's a good idea to run something in tight. Bases are empty here with two men out. Here's a 1-0. Here and maybe a little frustrated on the mound here as the fastball misses for ball two now. And this is all about handling a guy like this with kid gloves. You know, walk him if you have to, but don't let him be the one to beat you. 2-0 on the way. 3-0 and oh now. And he's got to be up there thinking, come on, man. give me something to hit. Here he comes on 3-0. and oh. And there's a strike as he'll try to work his way back. It's 3-1. and one. You have to say they've really had a good game plan for attacking the 3-4-5 hitters all game long. Yeah, and I think the only thing that's better than a game plan has been the execution of that game plan. You're exactly right. They've held this lineup at bay. Here he comes 3-1. And a ball popped foul to the right side out of play. Full count pitch on its way. And this one misses inside a ball he walked in. And they've got themselves a two-out base runner. Hey, you know what? That's all right. He gave him a pretty good battle up there, and he never gave in to him. A walk you can work around. A home run, you can't. Justin Maxwell will stand in now in what could be a real make-or-break situation. And you think at this point you have to get something out of this inning. The further you get into that bullpen, the tougher it's going to be to claw back from this deficit. First pitch coming. Too high, 1-0. The next pitch. Upstairs with it yet again. It's 2-0 now.
Here's the 2-0. Now a swing, and he popped him up. And no ordinary pop-up at that. This is way up there. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Giants leave one. They trail here four to nothing. Ben Revere will get us started as they look for a little insurance here in the top of the ninth. Number two, Ben Revere. Now here's the first pitch. Off we go in the ninth as the first pitch misses for ball one. Now the 1-0. First two pitches off the mark here. It's 2-0. Oh. Hitters count 2-0. And, oh. and he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to 2-1. and one. A Pretty dangerous spot for that one. I don't think it was by design. It's one thing to miss your spots out of the zone, but when you miss in the zone, especially up, that's when you tend to get hurt. Here comes the 2-1. Wow. Now he'll try to bunt his way on base here, but this will roll foul. Here's the 2-2 two two offering. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. Now, how important is it going to be for this guy to throw that curveball for strikes? I don't know that he necessarily needs to ever throw it for a strike. I mean, if it's around the plate and he's getting guys to go after it, it's doing its job. But if he starts to get too high or too far outside, then it's just an easy take. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Now batting, right fielder, Damian Trejo. Damian Trejo will stand in here. 0 for 2 with a run scored so far. First pitch coming. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. Here's the 1-0. And, ooh, looked like a definite pitcher's pitch there on the inside. One and one. Really a good job so far by this guy out of the bullpen. Yeah, he's come in and really put his stamp on this game. Thrown a lot of strikes. That's what you want. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch. A oh, good action on the two-seamer there, and it's one and two. Boy, he sure can sling that thing, can't he? He sure can. A very wide arm angle comes from the first base side. It's not straight either. It's moving. Now the veteran deals on one and two. Big swing, but a little dribbler here to the right side of the mound. Throw gets him, two down. Yeah, and that's not always an easy play for a pitcher, especially when he has to barehand the ball. But luckily, he's got plenty of time out there, so he's able to set himself and then make a good, strong throw. Standing in now, Michael Franco. As he'll line this one foul to the right side out of play, it's strike one. Now here's the pitch. And a check swing here, but he pretty clearly broke the plane, and it's 0-2 now. Two out, nobody on. Now the pitch. Swing and a miss on a ball in the dirt as they'll need to throw down to first. And the throw is in time. It's a strikeout, and the play at first goes 2-3 to three for good measure as the inning is over. Phillies down in order, but they're in front four to nothing. Jake Diekman will come on now and make his 55th appearance of the year. Number 63, Jake 
Adikna. Adam Duvall will be tasked now with leading things off in their half of the night as they'll try to do something to prevent being shut out. And whatever they've done for the first eight innings hasn't yielded a whole lot so far, so quite frankly, I'm not expecting too much. Played in a way there. One ball, no strikes. Now the 1-0 pitch. Looks at a sinker there that drops in one and one. Figure we'll probably see a heavy dose of that sinker here tonight. It's really a pitch you'll lean on, especially when he needs that ground ball. But even in situations like this where he's just trying to get ahead. The 1-1 home. And this is fouled back and out of play. Pitch on the way. Now a line drive over the shortstop's head and on into left center field. And that should be extra bases to begin the inning. Around first on his way to second now. And he'll make it there. And some life to start the home ninth. It's a leadoff double. Well, neither offense has really made a huge impact so far. But finally, maybe a little sign of life. He drives this ball for two bases. And even though they've had trouble scoring runs, they're not out of this thing by a long shot. A couple more of these could get him right back into it. Joaquin Aria will step in now as his guys look for a breakthrough here with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, it's been a long time coming. They haven't done anything with their opportunities so far. Maybe this will be the time that they finally crack the scoreboard. First offering on the way. A changeup floats outside here for ball one. And that looked like he might have crossed him up a bit there. So good time to come out onto the mound and say, hey, look, we've got a runner on second now. Second sign. Let's let's not mess it up again. one -oh on the way. And he watches one miss outside, 2-0 oh now. Yeah, and he didn't even have to think twice about that one. And now he's got a good hitter's count here, 2-0. Oh. Here comes the 2-0. -oh. And a sinker is over that time. It's back to 2-1. and one. Yeah, the velocity's good here, but I'm not so sure about the location. That was right down the middle. Ready with the 2-1. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground at first. And he'll take this to the bag himself for the first out, but it's a productive one as the runner moves up to third. All right, that's just a really nice job right there. After the leadoff double, I don't care who the next guy is, he has to, at the very least, make a productive out. And that's a good job right there as he gets his man to third, now with just one out. Gary Brown will dig in. Strikeout victim his last time. First pitch on the way. Starts him out with a sinker that's inside, 1-0. And, oh. and now with that runner on third and one away, you need to stay smart at the plate, realizing that they might be working around you to put you on. So you can't go up there chasing some pitches out of the zone. Now a swing and a ground ball. Foul. 1-0 and a runner on third. One one pitch on the way. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. The two one. Just off the inside part of the plate. It's three and one. The three one is on the way. And he misses with one here. It's ball four. So that will at least bring the double play into the conversation with runners at the corners and one away. Jonathan Papelbon is on now to try to close things down here in the ninth. Right-hander starts to loosen out from the bullpen now. Here we go. And he'll 
try to crowd him there to start the at bat. It's one and zero. Let's put a few on the board. One zero. A little late on this one as it's lifted the other way down the left field line. Brown able to make the catch. Tagging is the runner from third. And there's a first step in the comeback as Sack Fly makes this a 4 to 1 ball game. Angel Pagan, the last chance now with two out here in the ninth. Now here's the first pitch. Starts things with a splitter outside for ball one. The 1 0. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. It's a ball and a strike. All right. Come on, let's go. Here's Papelbon's 1 1. Swing and a hot shot toward third. Oh, and this is past him down the line. A fair ball. Boy, not only was that pitch bearing in tight on him, but it got there in a hurry. You can see he's barely able to get the bat through the zone, but somehow he manages to steer it in the left field for a base hit. Here's the shortstop, Brandon Crawford, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Yeah, even with two on and two away, this is not a guy that's going to back down out there. He comes right after him with a fastball, and he gets ahead. Pause, now the pitch. Now a hard hit ball back up the middle. Throw on the second for the force, and the ball game is over. And you know what? I don't care who you're playing. You know, it's never easy to go out on the road and win any game. So that was a great effort by them in every phase of the game. One more look at the final line score there to see the great pitching performance that led his guys to the victory. Well, you always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this man went above and beyond in this one. He's our top player of the game.